I'm Laura and I am the Outnumbered Vegan and it is Talk About It Tuesday. And today we're going to talk about drinks that we should be avoiding. And this is kind of inspired by two different things. One, this morning I was out and I went to the farmer's market and I saw a woman with one of those massive iced coffee drinks. And the other thing that inspired it is the recent controversy about the chemicals in Powerade, which are known for their fire retardant properties. And I used to be a really big soda drinker. I drank a lot of Coke and a lot of Mountain Dew. And when I was training for my half marathon last fall, I drank a lot of Gatorade. On the days that I would do a long run, I would drink two 32 ounce bottles of um, Gatorade. I would put one of them in a squeeze bottle for during my run and then one I would have as part of my recovery. And they're not healthy. Um, as far as the sports drinks, now I make my own and it is water and coconut sugar and you know sure it doesn't come in all the flavors that Gatorade and Powerade come in but it also doesn't have all, all the artificial flavors and all the artificial colors. So who cares? Um, but as far as sodas, one of my biggest pet peeves, and I don't know why this drives me crazy, but it does, is when I see someone eating something like fried chicken and drinking a Diet Coke, or eating you know, apple pie or Snickers and drinking Diet Coke. Because people, they don't counteract one another. They don't. You cannot eat, you know, fat sugary foods like that and then drink a Diet Coke and think that they counteract each other because it doesn't work that way. You might as well have the fatty sugary food and go ahead and have the Coke because the can of Coke is 150 calories of high fructose corn syrup and it's actually better for you than the diet stuff. But anyway, that aside, one of the drinks that we should be eliminating from our diets is sports drinks and sodas. Okay, the next one is um, fruit juice that is not 100% fruit juice. And um, it just boggles my mind when I go to get juice and it's like 10% fruit juice. and Which means that the other 90% is just water and garbage. So when I'm out and I want juice, because you know, I've been out for several hours and I need something other than just water, I will either go with um, Bullet House Farms 100% carrot juice or I will go with 100% pineapple juice or 100% orange juice if I can find it fresh squeezed. And the pineapple juice is pretty expensive. I don't drink it a lot, but... Um, it's better than, you know, 10% pineapple juice and, you know, 40% water and then the rest of it's just, you know, high fructose corn syrup and I don't even know what else. So anyway, the second thing that we should be avoiding is juice that is not 100% fruit or 100% vegetable for that matter. Okay, the next would be the sugary coffee drinks. Um, if you're gonna drink coffee, make it at home <laughs> or at least um, carry stevia with you or something. I actually carry stevia packets in my car and I usually carry like one in my purse. Um, and I don't even drink it in my coffee. I like, if I have coffee, I want my coffee black. I want it pure. <laughs> um, but if you are a coffee drinker, you know, go with a healthier choice. Go with, you know, almond milk or soy milk or something like that and stevia as opposed to a um, drink that they are making for you that is you know a little bit of coffee and a bunch of cream and a bunch of sugar and, and um, also the flavored syrups are nothing but either sugar or high fructose corn syrup or chemicals if they're the sugar free variety okay the next thing oh and also, a better choice would be green tea. Um, let's see. Oh, well, my, my text kind of mutilated, but yeah, green tea. Um, that's, it's not the same as coffee, but it's full of antioxidants and it's very good for you. So the third thing would be eliminating those sugary 
creamy coffee drinks. And then the fourth thing to eliminate would be um, alcoholic drinks that are high in sugar, like margaritas or pina coladas or something like that, um, something of that variety. Personally, if I'm going to drink a um, 800 calorie drink, I would much rather have it be an 800 calorie banana smoothie than an 800 calorie pina colada. Does it mean I would never have, well actually I would never have a pina colada probably, but I might have a margarita, I don't know. But um, yeah, I would much rather have my delicious banana smoothie oh, that I know exactly what the ingredients are. If you want a drink, you know, if it, you know, it's summertime and people want to, you know, go out and go to barbecues or whatever, or even go out to eat or whatever, a better choice would be a glass of red wine or a beer or something like that. That doesn't mean ne you don't ever have to have a pina colada or a margarita or something like that, but, um... A friend and I used to go out and we would get two pitchers of margaritas. We would order a pitcher and drink it all and then order another one. <laughs> um, and we would stay at the restaurant for many, many hours, for like three hours, <laughs> and drink these two pitchers of margaritas and eat horrible, horrible food that I don't even want to think about anymore. But, oh, and another thing is we would drink sangria, which is really bad too because it's got a lot of fruit in it that's not bad, but whenever you're mixing it with, you know, um, nachos with hamburger and cheese and all that stuff. Not a good, not a good combo. So anyway, the fourth drink to eliminate would be the really high sugar alcoholic drinks because it's a double whammy. You're getting the calories from the sugar, you're getting the calories from the alcohol, and then whatever is added in there. I mean, you know, I don't know what all goes into pina coladas, but I think it's like coconut milk or coconut cream or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you're getting a lot of, a lot more calories than you would get if you just had a beer that's, you know, 100 or 110 calories or a glass of wine that's 100 calories or whatever. So anyway, that is the Talk About It Tuesday topic for today. That was a lot of teas. Um, and I might be back later today with a recipe for mango chutney. I got, let me see, I think six mango for 69 cents a piece, not as cheap as I wanted, but anyway, I got a bunch of mango at the farmer's market, and I kind of want some mango chutney, so I will talk with you guys soon. Bye.